Hi YouTube, yeah, it's me 86. Um, welcome to another um I don't know episode or you know review of uh Love and Hip Hop that came on um last night on VH1 at eight o'clock. Make sure you guys tune in if you guys don't know what time it comes on. Um it was a lot. I kinda missed it because I came in late. Um so I had to um watch the you know when it came on again, I, I believe at like ten o'clock or whatever on VH1. But anyways a lot happened so i'm gonna kind of run through it um you know and just give you my opinion on different situations um first um it started out with jocelyn and she had a photo shoot and it looked real cheap i don't know where they was like in the studio and a photographer was taking pictures of jocelyn at the um studio and whatnot and she had like this crinkly weave whatever and i don't know what the heck she had on i guess it was supposed to be like you know she's from the islands or whatever some island outfit, but it's like something that maybe Nicki Minaj will wear, but the cheap version of it, uh, whatever costume it's supposed to be. But anyway, basically, Stevie J, he comes in and, you know, he's like, I need to talk to you, Mimi, and whatever. I'm sorry, Mimi. Jocelyn, and she's like, he first of all, he was talking about her outfit, like, well, you know, what do you have on, blah, 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 wardrobe, and all this stuff. So then he was like, well, let me, you know, talk to you what I really want to talk to you about. And she was like, well, what? You know, what do you want, Stevie? What do you want, Stevon? And um, he was like, well, you know, why are you been, have you been texting me, me or whatever? And she was like, yeah, because I don't like that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Custom around with it. She was like, I don't like her. And um, Joshin was like, well, me and Stevie are supposed to be together. But whenever we together, Mimi's always uh, calling him on the phone, blowing up his phone, talking about I can't stand that Jocelyn girl, whatever, blah, blah, going in on her. So she said, yeah, I felt like, you know, if you're going to be saying my name, I have the right to text you and call you, whatever I want to say, and say, you know, if I see you, I'm going to be right, whatever. So, you know, Stevie J is like, you need to be respectful, and that's my baby mama, she has my child, and all that shit. And Josh is basically like, I don't care, I don't care who she is, whatever. She was like, go buy, she said, go be with me, me, like, I don't really care, you know, we supposed to be in a relationship, I'm tired of you, you know, basically thinking you run things, and you don't. So that was that situation. And then, um, they had Bucky, Shay, I guess she wants to call her Shay, she goes and she meets with, um, Mama D. At this little um, restaurant or whatever not. And so she goes. She sit down. And she's like, you know, Mama D's basically like, well, you know, Scrappy told me about him and his relationship with Bucky. And how they're supposed to be cool. And now they're supposed to be somewhat dating. So she's like, I need to get to know her. So she's talking to Bucky. And she was like, yeah, um, basically, you know, my son told me about you and how you guys are friends. And Bucky's like, yeah, you know, um, we've been friends for a long time. And it's kind of moving beyond that. And um, Mom D was basically like, I like you. You know, she didn't like Erica. She was like, well, did you know Erica left uh, Scrappy for dead and all that drama? Basically, she was like, if you love a guy, you're not supposed to leave him when he's in his time of need and all this other crap. So then um, Bucky was like, well, you know, how would um, Erica know about Scrappy as far as, like, he need to go to the hospital? Like, was she at his house? And Mom D was like, oh, I don't know. I just know she called at, at like, four or five in the morning or six in the morning saying that he needed to go to the hospital so she's just like thinking she's like oh well you know scrappy been telling me that him and erica is nothing there and you know that's just his baby mama but you know maybe there is more to it so that was that and i got a list of whatever because this was a lot going on um then they have when maybe talks to carly about you know what happened on last week episode when carly got into k michelle so, um, Carly's like, well, Mimi, we supposed to be girls from L.A., whatever. You could have gave me a heads up that K. Michelle, you know, was going to do that. She she disliked me or whatnot. And Mimi was like, I didn't know that she disliked you. Um, oh, I didn't know she was going to go as far as she did. She was like, and then Mimi was like, well, everybody knows that K. Michelle felt some type of way about you, Carly. Why are you the only one that doesn't know this? So, Carly was like, well, now I can have beef with her because, you know, basically she threw the nap in her. She felt some type of way about that. So Mimi's like, yeah, you know, y'all have beef, whatever, you need to talk to her about it. So Mimi was saying, Carly, you know how, you know, the rumor, she was like, I don't know if you heard that Jocelyn got pregnant by Stevie. And so Car uh, Carly was like, well, so I was right when I, you know, basically told you that they was together. She was like, yeah, you was right, and all this other stuff. So that's that one. Um, Then you have Rashida. She um, was having, like, a viewing party, I guess, you know, for her new song and new video, um, Marry Me. And so her manager, who of course is her, her husband, he's supposed to be throwing like this get together viewing party, whatever. So she goes and it's not a whole rack of people there. And she's just like, well, what's going on? Ain't nobody really here. So anyway, she goes, she introduces the video. 
And she's like, well, no, this is my new video. And, you know, here it is. And, then, and nothing comes on the screen. So she's like, okay, what's going on? And he's like, oh, that screen doesn't work. They need to turn around and watch these different screens. So she's like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, you know, please just turn around and watch the, um, the video. Excuse me. Premiere on these screens behind you. So she's like real upset. She's just like, you saying you're going to do this big thing for me. Have all these people at my viewing party. And nobody's really here. So she feels some type of way about that. Which is understandable because, you know, you want everybody to come out and he's kind of bigging it up and he's supposed to be our manager. So you want to make sure the right people are there to come and view your video and see you in promotion and whatnot. So I get that. Um, there was a section also, uh, Rashida, she went and she, uh, after the whole incident, she went and had um, talked to K. Michelle. Which I like K. Michelle with the short hair. I just wanted a side note. Um, but she was basically just saying how, you know, how the business of the pleasure mixes with her and her husband. And she just feel like, you know, he promised her things or he promised her things that he doesn't follow through on. And um, that maybe she needs to seek management elsewhere outside of him. So I kind of agree with that. Like, I'll get more into that. Uh, you know, they had a discussion earlier. But I feel like it's kind of ruined their relationship because their business and you know that's her husband and then she gets mad at him and the business side and then it, it goes and to over the personal she's mad at him so i think they should really separate that because they're not doing a very good job of doing both um that was uh then we have with carly um is at a photo shoot and she asked k michelle to come and meet her at the photo shoot so they can have a growing up discussion so Carly sits down and she's talking to her and she's basically like, you know, I didn't appreciate you throwing a napkin at me or whatever. Um, basically, you know, being disrespectful. So K. Michelle was like, well, that was the tendency coming out of me. And, you know, I, I I do apologize for that. But I feel some type of way towards you because you've been going by my, behind my back telling people they shouldn't work with me because I'm crazy. And you just been talking about me and I don't like you. And to me... Even though I'm not a big, the biggest fan of Carly, I felt where she was coming from. She was just like, okay, you, I'm just trying to have a grown up conversation. And right now, you're acting like a child. You're not really talking to me, you know. And Kevin Shea was like, whatever, I do what I want to do. Basically, I've been in this industry, and who are you? Show me your receipts, you know what I'm saying? You are nobody, basically. So Carly was like, I'm done talking to you. Let me get back to my um, photo shoot. So she has, like, this pink tight dress on. And she was like, look at you with your lump side uh, <laughs> deflated booty, right? <laughs> While she walked away. And then she came and she walked out. She was like, I like your dress. I was like, Kevin Shea, a mess. She's she's one of my favorite, actually, on the show. And then you have this whole scene with Benzino and Carly. And how they had, like, um, he, she's supposed to, I guess, go to his house and he cooks for her. And they basically talking about their past relationships and how he's looking for a girl. And how she broke up with Antonio Reed, who you guys don't know is Ella Reed's son. And they then they start kissing. Like, the whole time, that, I was just like, ugh. Like, and Benzino is nothing nice to look at. And it's just like, Carly, girl, you, uh, girl, you, you're willing to do anything <laughs> to, you know, jump ahead or whatnot. I was like, ugh. It's just a kiss and they just needed to just edit all that out. It's just nasty. And um we get to Scoppy and Erica. They're at uh well Erica's house and basically he's saying he needs to move on so he's packs his stuff. He has a you like a U-Haul truck over that outside the house. But she's basically he's trying to say that he's still trying to work things out, which I'm like, Well, how are you trying to work things out, Scrappy, when you see a bucket? I don't get that. She's basically like, I'm over it. I'm tired of you keep coming back to me when it's basically on your terms. Like I can't, I can't do that. You're playing with people. You're playing with my emotions by, you know, just saying, oh well, I'll be with you when I want to be with you. She said it doesn't work like that, and she's over it. So he was like, well, okay, I get that, but are you gonna, you got me on child support, basically saying, are you gonna take me off child support? And she was like, no. She was like, you know, every time I ask you for money, you'll say you'll give me money, but then. I haven't seen anything. I asked you for money like two weeks ago and I still haven't seen it. He was like, oh, no, it's not that I don't have it. I just haven't got around to it. She was like, oh, really? He was like, yeah. So that they had that discussion. And then um, I kind of missed this, but basically Benzino was talking to Stevie J. And Stevie J basically was saying how he went to the photo shoot and was telling um, Josh and, you know, don't disrespect Mimi and all that stuff. So he was like, well, why Josh feel like she can do that? He was like, you still doing it, you know, getting down with her, you know, getting in with her. And I guess he was like, yeah, whatnot. And, you know, he basically was like, he want me me back. And he was like, what are you doing to get me me back? He was like, I'm trying. I just need to see her and be along with her. All this other crap. Um, then they had, uh, I don't have this on here, but I remember this. 
Erica talks to her mom basically about scrapping one of the, um, to, for her to take him more child support. And mom's like, no, he's need to pay. Don't take more child support. He needs to do what he needs to do. You know what I'm saying? That's not fair. You know, um, basically he needs to be a man and not a daddy father. He's going to, no, he needs to pay what he needs to pay for his daughter. Um, and I completely agree with that. Um, you know. They're cool or whatnot, not supposed to be friends, but at the end of the day, she needs her money to pay for her daughter and, you know, they're living and scrappy crazy. If he can't get no job, he better start looking, do something, produce something. Um, basically towards the end, well, no, let me talk about, um, well, Carly has, um, sorry, Carly. Joshin talks to Mimi basically and she's just like, well, I apologize for texting you or whatever but i just felt some type of way because every time i was sleeping you be texting him blowing she's like maybe he's like well he's my baby father i can call text him whenever i want to and what he's gonna be in my life she was like well i understand that whatever but basically i don't want steven because he's playing both of us and he tells you one thing he might be telling me one thing whatever and i apologize for basically she said she apologized for her getting pregnant being pregnant i'm like girl and he was like well i i hear what you're saying but i don't accept your apology because you've been basically she's saying you've done too much to me and said too much stuff for me just to be like oh i accept your apology so maybe was like um joshua was like well i don't you know i don't care you know if you don't accept my apology or don't believe that i'm sincere that's on you whatever and that's basically how that ended I just feel like Mimi, of course, I think she just leaves Stevie J alone. Whether or not that's her baby father, that has nothing to do with her being with him, whatever. Jocelyn, she's just kind of acting like she's all that now and she don't need Stevie. But she knows she she going to go back to Stevie because she's always trying to play like Mimi the dumb one. But you dumb too. You are really dumb. You as dumb as Mimi are probably dumber than Mimi. Um, Scrappy and Erica. Erica just need to leave Scrappy alone. They have a door. Let him take care of his daughter. Let him do and run around with these other hoes. Let him do what he need to do. Um, and Rashida and her husband, he needs to just be her husband. Or let a co-manager come in and help out. And he just feels some type of way because he's been managing her whole time. But he's being selfish because she wants to. He's not being able to take her where she needs to be in her career. So why not bring in somebody who's going to help her? Like, he's just being very selfish as far as that. In my opinion, Carly and Benzina, if they become a couple... Please just don't show no more kissing. No, uh, it's just nasty. K. Michelle, I hope she does very well in singing. I think she's a talented artist. Whatever. That's this week's episode. And um, I guess I'll see you again next week. Peace.